What is up, everyone? My name is Phil. The channel is Phil's Polls. And we are back with another card opening video today. It's not really a card opening video, but um, it's actually a top 10 video of the best cards I own. You guys have been asking for this and we're gonna deliver today. But before we get into that, I did wanna mention that today's video is sponsored by Otis. Otis is an investment app that lets you invest in cultural assets. You can invest by buying and selling shares of hundreds of rare collectibles. They have anything from sports cards, collectibles, to rare sneakers, comics, and artwork. All you have to do is download the app and sign up for free to join the weekly drops. You can buy the drops directly from the Otis drops or purchase shares from other members. You can earn a return by selling your shares to other Otis members or if Otis sells the underlying asset for more than the price that you bought it. I'm most interested in cards, obviously. So, I mean, they have anything from 2009 Bowman Chrome Mike Trout Refractor to 500 BGS 95. Super, super cool card. Um, if you're into soccer, a 2018 Prism World Cup Orange Killian Mbappe to 65 PSA 10. And uh, a huge, huge card, the 2018 Luka Doncic Prism Mojo to 25 PSA 10. Like anything, you know, cards can go up and down, but uh, if you want to kind of ride the wave of this current sports card market, but don't have tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars to drop for these cards individually, Otis is a great alternative. Download Otis today for free and check out the latest and upcoming drops. Sign up for Otis with the link in the description and get your first share free when you fund your account. Terms do apply. So thank you to Otis. Make sure to check them out. And we'll get right into this top 10 video. Oh, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Greatly appreciate that. First up at number 10 is a soccer card, which you may or may not have expected, but uh, this is the 2019 Topps Chrome Bundesliga Erling Holland Refractor. I bought him before his big boom uh, for about $1,000, I want to say. And right now this is anywhere from seven dollars to $8,000. So he obviously is uh, being scouted by some of the big clubs, what am I, Chuck uh, especially in the Premier League. So uh, prices for him are expected to keep on rising. So there's our number 10, Erling Holland, Top Scrum Bundesliga Refractor, PSA 10. Um, I do want to mention there are some cards that I maybe have more attachment to or that I like more. But for this video, I want to do top 10 of just straight value. So uh, that's what we did when getting these cards together. Next up on the list is a guy who's unfortunately um, injured right now, but this is the 2019 Topps Chrome Eloy Jimenez Sapphire Red PSA 10. Um, number two of five. You know, he killed it last year and was having a really good spring and then hurt his knee, but I expect him back in a big way. Um, when healthy, uh, this card is easily, you know, eight to ten thousand dollars. I would guess the Tatis of this exact same card is probably fifty, sixty thousand dollars. So, yeah, when he's back healthy, this card is gonna keep on going up. So, um, that is number nine. Number eight. Now, this is a card that I have a really hard time finding a value for. Uh, this is the 2018 Bowman Mega Box Ronald Acuna Jr. Variation Auto. So, towel on head. Auto, there's this is limited to just 25 copies, and this is a PSA 10. The non auto version of this card has sold for $2,000 uh, as a PSA 10. You won't find um, an auto of this card on eBay right now or any sales in the last, I guess, three to four months. So it's a complete guess. If I if I had to throw a number on this card right now, I'd say it's I'd say it's over $10,000 as he's continuing to just tear it up in the league right now. So. Yeah, really cool card of one of the young superstars. And what's even cooler about this card is I pulled it myself along with um, the Eloy at number nine. So really cool Acuna. That's number eight. Number seven, uh, another card I actually pulled myself. And this is the 2020 Panini Mosaic Justin Herbert Peacock Choice uh, PSA 10. So again, you won't find many of these. Uh, there's no way to comp this card at the moment. Um, none have actually even sold in this condition. I did, however, sell the NFL debut version, which is uh, less sought after than the true rookie. It's got like the debut markings at the top. 
and I actually sold that card in a PSA 10 for $4,000. Uh, this card, I would guess, is easily three to four times that, but conservatively, you know, $10,000 plus. So uh, the Mosaic Justin Herbert Peacock Choice, one of my favorite cards in my collection, honestly. I think they did a great job with this kind of Peacock design, and I'm a Charger fan, unfortunately, but Herbert has given us uh, a glimpse of hope. So that is number seven. Number six on the list is this cool card. It's a 2018 Panini Kaboom, Killing Mbappe. And uh, I did really well on this card. I bought this for, I want to say, I think $4,000, which was a lot of money. At, well, for me, getting into soccer, it was the most expensive soccer card I'd ever purchased. But I had a really good feeling about these Kabooms, and um, it paid off. So uh, there's been sales from anywhere from fifteen dollars to $20,000 on this card. And like I said, I bought it for uh, $4,000. So you hit big sometimes, you lose sometimes. But if you're you know interested in getting into stuff like this but don't have the money to drop on it, like I said earlier, Otis is a really good option for that. Um, but yeah, that's number six, this Kylian Mbappe Kaboom. Next up at number five is my favorite basketball player, and that is Luka Doncic. This is his 2018 Prism Tiger Stripe. One of the more sought after, I guess, parallels you could say of this product. This only comes in Prism Choice, and this is a PSA 10. I uh, was able to trade for this card, actually locally, which was cool. And uh, this card recently sold, I wanna say, like just a couple weeks ago for $32,000. So um, a very cool looking card, very valuable card. And uh, as Luca continues to just dominate, I expect these to go up. And we actually have another Luca card um, coming later in this video. So it's more expensive than 32,000. Smash, smash, smash. Which is crazy. All right, next up at number four, we have this beauty. I'm afraid I just blew myself. <laughs> Watch your profanity. A 2009 Bowman Chrome Mike Trout draft pick and prospects auto X Fractor PSA 9. Um, I actually picked this up in a trade as well. This is, uh, I always wanted one of these autos, and uh, the guy I was trading with happened to have an X Fractor, and that worked out for both of us. He had a Tatis card he really wanted, and I wanted to go a little more trout heavy in my investing and collecting, so it worked out for both of us. Uh, last sold, I believe, it was earlier this year. Obviously, he's hurt right now, so his prices might be a little low, but he's not going to shift as much as uh, some of the prospects because he does have that track record. Uh, but this card did sell in April for $47,000. So, 2009 Bowman Chrome Mike Trout X Fractor Auto PSA 9. Great card. Oh, and this is number two, uh, 225 as you can see. So a parallel, um, a number parallel of that set. Okay, um, number three, and this was the other uh, Luca card I was referring to, and this is his 2018 Select Courtside Zebra. Um, so Courtside being the rarest uh, base card variant in the set, and the Zebra being a case hit, uh, this is a huge, huge card. Um, as a PSA 10. I also traded for this one as well. I had to include quite a bit of stuff, but I wanted to get like a big, big card of Luca, and this is probably one of the bigger ones you can get besides, you know, one of ones and such. So, um, massive card. You won't really find any um, for sale or comps, but um, easily like a 75 to $100,000 card. So, um, yeah, Luca, courtside, zebra, PSA 10. Monster. All right, we have two left. At number two, if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen me post about this card. It is a 2019 Bowman Wander Franco Prospects Auto Chrome Red Shimmer um, to five, as you can see right there, four of five PSA 10 Auto. Yeah, I mean, you know, the number one prospect in baseball for the last two years. Um, this is just a massive, massive card. Um, I actually purchased this for what I thought was a really good deal. On eBay, I paid $16,000 for this card. And at the time, I thought that was a good deal. And turns out I'm probably right. Uh, the true red for this exact same card, so instead of the red shimmer, it's the true red, which is more desirable. Um, also to five. 
sold for $200,000 on golden auctions, uh, I want to say just a few weeks ago. And so I conservatively would value this card around 100000 if not maybe a buck and a quarter. So um, huge card. And as you can see, I obviously, you know, you don't count a profit until you sell something, but theoretically uh, made a good chunk of money on this card. So that is number two. And number one, a lot of people know I have this card <laughs> and I couldn't make a video uh, without showing it. So um, last but not least is the 2019 Topps Chrome Fernando Tatis Jr. Sapphire Super Fractor Auto PSA 10. And that is a one of one, of course. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to disclose how much I paid for this card, but it is the most expensive card I have ever purchased. And um, I would say that I did pretty well on it. Conservatively, I would estimate that this card is in the $500,000 range. And if it did go to auction, I wouldn't be shocked if we're talking about um, a million plus dollar yeah, card. I'm not a fan. I saw it coming too. Saw it coming. Um, certainly something I keep in the safe. <laughs> it was actually cool to to pick it up again because I haven't had it um, out in quite a while. But definitely, easily, uh, the best card I own. 2019 Top Scrum Sapphire Super Fractor Auto for Nano Tetsis Jr. PSA 10. Um, that's the that's the list for today, guys. Those are the. Uh, the 10 best slash most expensive cards I own. If you like the video, you want to see more stuff like this, uh, leave a like, leave a comment down below, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, make sure you check out Otis, all the information down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya.